hello everyone welcome back to my channel you're watching jjm kitchen if today is your first time coming across my channel please consider subscribing and for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always supporting god bless you all and in today's recipe i will be showing you how to make a uh, shortbread with just three ingredients so let's go into our cooking so yes let's go through our ingredients we have uh, butter this is salt and butter room temperature is about five tablespoons of butter and we have powdered sugar so uh, I didn't measure that and we have uh, our flour so I'll just add my butter into the bowl and then I'm going to add my powdered sugar and I will mix that until they are nicely mixed together so if you have electric mix mixer it's nice but this is what I have so I'm using it and I'll mix it until it's smooth and yes we'll continue so here we go it is now nice and ready so I'll just add the flour but I'll not add it at once I'll just add a little of it and mix and then I'll continue mixing so at this point I just found out that oh, I can't continue mixing with this I have to use my hand and they are clean as well so I wash my hand before doing this so I'll just take it away and I will continue mixing it with my hand so that I will get that nice result I want yes so now I'm mixing it with my hand it's a bit messy but you have to use your hand if you don't have a electric mixer so I will add my remaining flour so after adding it I will continue mixing until they are nicely incorporated so yes here we go I will mix it like about five minutes you don't want to like work too much on the on the dough because you still want that nice butter to still be there the taste to be there yeah so after I've mixed it, I'll set that aside and I'll take my baking sheet. I'll just place it on the oven tray. This is the one I use. So I'll just place it. Once I've got the measurement, I will now put it on the floor and then on the working surface. And I'll just add my dough. I'll just add it. Not dough anyway. The, the pastry. I'll just add it and then I will go ahead and mix it. And I will go, yes, yeah, so... I roll it sorry I want to say roll it not mix it and I roll it I couldn't get the square so I'm just trying to cut it out myself but if you're able to get the square shape is so it is so good so I'll just take these ones I will bake them separately but I'm just trying to get a square shape and yeah of which I finally did not perfectly but yes I finally did I'm just taking them out and placing them into the bowl so you may be wondering why I'm using this kind of bowl, but I just like using a rubber bowl. So yeah, I'm just trying to get a square. Can you see that I finally got it? It's not that perfect, but yeah, it's still okay though, yeah. So now what I will do is I will bring back the oven tray and I'll place it in there and I'll just cut them into a cube, into a, yeah into a bar I need to say I just cut it into a bar I'm trying to get the same like almost equal size so that some are not burning while some are still cooking some are still baking so yeah I almost got all of them right so yeah I'm just going to cut them into bar yeah so that's what I'm doing Sorry that it is shaking, but anyway, I will fix it after that. Not to worry. And yes, I've just did it, and now I'm going to use a f like a fork and give it a a style, and just give it that style of short bread. So I'll do that. And then I will show you the result. And yes, my oven is already preheated. And yeah, this is it. 
just giving it i'll bring it a bit closer so you can see it i have just preheated it the oven and we will place it into the oven yeah so i'll just place it right into the oven and we'll bake that for about 14 to 15 minutes and that is it if you watch up to this point then give me a thumbs up thank you so yes here we go it is ready this is after 15 minutes it is so so ready now i'll put it into the bowl and yes here we go i'll be having it with a chill cup of milk yes a milk and this is what we have i will just break it so you will see inside it's so crunchy though it's still hot but when it get cold it will be more crunchier thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this recipe you can try it at home for your kid or for yourself it's so so nice thank you for watching and god bless you please give it a thumbs up share like comment and always remember that god loves you so much until next time i'll see you in my next video have a blessed day bye